Valdosta vs. Colquitt, an ever-exciting matchup between two perennial powers from South Georgia. In 2019, this matchup was hyped up as ever, as Valdosta was the number one ranked team in 6A, and Colquitt County was the number one ranked team in 7A. Valdosta was led by senior quarterback Tate Rodemaker. He was the head coach's son, but he didn't earn the starting job from his bloodline. He earned it through his play on the field. Tate was a three-star recruit committed to Florida State, and he was looking to bring the Wildcats their first region or state title in three years. The star on offense for Colquitt County was senior running back Dejon Edwards. He was a four-star recruit committed to Georgia and always came up with a big play when his team needed it most. The rivalry between these two teams goes all the way back to 1913. It's the oldest rivalry in all of Georgia and Colquitt County head coach Sean Calhoun made sure his players understood the significance of this game. Can you imagine how 105 years they played this game? Alright, you've got uncles, you've got dads, you've got grandparents, great grandparents for some of y'all that played in this game or was at this game. This game. Man, that's strong, right? 105 years. And tonight, you leave your mark on the history of this game. The history and the tradition of this game. You leave your mark. As a running back. With J.C. Harden, wide receiver this side, two on the far side. J.C. calls for it, comes up looking to throw it on first down. It's intercepted, a bobble in the end zone, and Miles Austin got the touchdown. Fumble the ball in the end zone, and Wade Quinton just picked, Quinton Bay Wade just picked it up, and Miles Austin just like that takes a 6 to nothing lead, and we fumble on the first play of the 6-yard, 16-yard line. One man in the slot. Goes back to pass, looking. Looking, got time, throws it down the middle, got a man open down there, and he makes the catch, fumbles the ball. Pat picks it up, packs it to 15, to 20, 25, 30, 35 yard line, up to the 37 yard line. Tuck, Tucker's second punt of the night, he gets it. Gets it off, and it's gonna go down deep. Let's see if we can down it. And we unable to, it's gonna go in the end zone for a touchback. We had a guy almost got to it inside the five. with the big running back. And he takes it and goes straight ahead and dives in there for a touchdown for the pack. That was Terrence Daly again. And just like that, here in the first quarter, Val Austin leads 20 to nothing with the point after coming. Yard line. Going back to pass again, still looking. Throws it out, complete to Dejon Edwards out of the backfield. Dejon still oh. fighting for you. You're almost down there where you got to be in four down territory there when you're yes, him by 21. Little low snap, comes up with it, throws it across the middle, complete, trying to find a little running room. There he goes around his hand to five, heads to the end zone, touchdown, Tyler Walker. Now, Tyler Walker, 23 yards for Tyler Walker, and the Pack to put six on the board. And that's what we needed to start the second quarter, and we're waiting on the point out. Harden calls for it. Back to pass, looking, steps up in the pocket. Going deep with it. Got a man out there, makes the catch. He's at the 30, 25, 20, 5, 10, touchdown, touchdown, 75 yards, 75 yard touchdown play. Packs back in it on a big play that time. What a great catch that time down the field and a man making that catch. Receivers for the Cats. Here's a snap. Gets it off. Going to be coming up and taking it about the 15, trying to find a little running room. He does on the far side. Somebody's got to knock him out of bounds and finally does. But he's all the way back out to the pack, to the uh, catch 45-yard line. Potomaker calls for it. Goes back, hands it to the running back, coming up the middle, trying to find some room. He's got it, got a first down, all the way down inside the pack 25. Feel with him. 
Rodemaker takes it, hands it off on a running play, dives up the middle, and he's going to fall down. Again, another running play up the middle, dives up in there, and in the end zone, touchdown for the Cats, and they go up 27-14, minute 56 left here in the first half with the point after coming. They see standing around his 15 to receive. Gives it to Dejon. Dejon trying to find a little yardage. Dejon fights hard, still fighting. It looks like a face mask, they didn't call it. Still fighting. He's all the way up across the 45, up to the 47-yard line. What a run by Dejon. Dejon in the ball game to the right side. Comes up, throws it to Dejon. Dejon trying to find some room, cuts up field. Dejon fighting for yardage. He's at the 40 to 35. He's at the 30 and driven out of bounds over there across the 30-yard line. J.C. back to pass again. He'll come pressure again. Throws it downfield. Got a man out there. Makes a catch. Touchdown, Pat. Touchdown, Pat. Ty Sanders. Ty Sanders. 30-yard touchdown. 33-yard touchdown pass to Ty Sanders. And Packers right back. And it's 28-20 with the point after coming. One slot man. One man in the backfield. This time a keeper by the quarterback. He's tripped up and fumbled. That's if the Pack's got it. Yes. Pack says they have it. Yes. Lot to make a fumble and the Pack has the football. Man goes in motion toward the far side. Now stops. Now comes back this way. Dejon gets it again, trying to find some room. Dejon comes up the middle. Dejon's at the 50, the 45. He's at the 30, the 25. Fighting hard all the way down inside the 15-yard line. Third and six, seven for the touchdown. J.C. calls for it. Back to pass again. Throw it toward the end zone. Made the catch. Let's see, he may have enough. He's right down to one yard line. Dejon takes it. Dejon goes straight ahead. Dejon's in the end zone. We got a 28-27 game with the point after coming. Good move, good move by the pack. Boy, good blocking in uh, Jamerson on that right side and Barry, Trey McCall the back. Calls for it, back to pass again. Looking, throws it downfield. Got a man out there, he's hit hard. He makes the catch, though, at the 34-yard line. Don't let him complete another one. Third down, about 16. Back to pass. Look, he steps up in the pocket, throws it downfield. Complete! And he's going to take it in the end zone. And that time, that was Yavante Sherman that made the catch for the touchdown, and the Cats go up on a 33-yard touchdown pass. Natis comes up, kicks it off, kicks it high. It's going to be taken at about the five-yard line. Up to the 15, the 20, the 25. Cuts outside, trying to find some running room. He's going to be knocked down up around the 26 yard line. Now he's on his feet again. Breaks loose. He breaks loose. He's going down the sideline. He's going all the way. He's going all the way. Tay Tay Ponder. Tay Tay Ponder. They thought they had him down. I thought they had him down. He spun out of there. Tay Tay Ponder just made one of the greatest runs you'll see. 95 yards. 95 yards. Tay Tay Ponder. And boys, I tell you, I thought he was down, Daryl, but he wasn't. Of the quarterback. Right make him. Back to pass. Put pressure on him. Comes up, throws it downfield. Got a man out there. He makes the catch. He's going to take it down inside the five. It's the four. From the Wildcat. He takes it and goes straight ahead. Battles hard, and he is going to take it down and in the end zone. Touchdown for the Cats, and they go up by a score now. A 41-35 point after coming. That was Terrence Daly again. Right, Carter does. Quick, quick hitter. Twins on this side, one far side. Dejon right in the middle again, Dontavious. Fighting for yardage. He's inside the 40, all the way down to the 37-yard line. It's on this side, one far side. Big play in this ball game. Pack got to get it to the 27. Goes back to throw. Throws that far side complete, and he's down to the 25. He's got the first down as he falls across it, and that'll be enough to pick up the first down for the Pack. Back. Going back to pass again. Looks for it. Throws it out to Dejon. Dejon's got it trying to find a little running room. Dejon fumbles, but picks it up. And Dejon takes it down close to the goal line, and he may be in. He may win in. It, he dove for it. And let's see, he got in the touchdown, and man, it makes it 42-41. 25-yard run by Dejon Edwards. Actually fumbled and picked it back up. They're all behind the quarterback. Second down and 10 for Rodemaker. Back to pass again. Throws it across the middle. Intercepted by the pack. 
Intercepted down at the 37-yard line. Naquan Washington, the only man in position down there. Nobody down there. First down and forever for the pack. Back to throw. Steps up in the pocket, still looking. Trying to throw it deep down the field down there. Caught. And he's on his feet to 50 to 40. He's all the way down inside the 40-yard line. And he's going to pick up a first down down to the 37-yard line. Clock at 520 in the game. Back to pass again. Steps up in the pocket. Going deep for it. Got a man wide open. Tight in. No. Makes a catch down there. That was the tight end. That was Wheeler down there. Jamar Wheeler made the touchdown catch. And that's 47-yard touchdown pass. And for the first time tonight, the Packers have taken the lead with the point after coming. Coach, put a little pressure on him and get him. Goes back to pass. Flips it out to a man out of the backfield, trying to find some running room, comes up in there, and we're going to be pulled down, but not before he picks up a first down. Tate Rodemaker, great quarterback, back to throw again, looking, looking, got plenty of time. Here comes pressure, though, he rushed out of the pocket. He's going to run it, he's got plenty of room. Nobody's got to come back and get him. He's going to finally take it all the way to the 40-yard line of the Packers for his far side. Rodemaker calling for it from the gun. Rodemaker back to pass. Here comes pressure on him. Rodemaker steps out of it. He's got to run. He slides down at the pack 35-yard line. He slides Quinn Forsyth. Rodemaker goes up again, hands it off to the running back. Got some running room. Dives in there. He's got another first down inside the 25 field. Rodemaker calls for it. Here comes pressure. Rushed out of the pocket. Nobody over there again. He's going to run it again. And he's going to take it out of bounds. And he's going to pick up another first down side. Lot of make of the quarterbacks in the gun. Calls for it. Hands it off on a running play. Dives in there and he is going to head and dock down. He'll have a first down though down near the pack one yard line. First and goal. Running back gets it and dives over to everybody in the end zone. Touchdown for the Kents. We got a one point game, 49-48 with extra points coming. That was Terrence Daly again that took it in. They go for two. Throw it toward the end zone, they got it. They take the lead, 50 to 48, 50 to 49, rather. JC calls for it. JC goes back to pass, looking. Got to get rid of it, JC. Comes up, throws it down the field, complete at the 40 yard line. Comes all the way up to the 43. That'll stop the clock to the side. JC's in the gun. JC back to throw again. Throws it again, complete over here. Hit the 50 to 45 down inside to about the 40-yard line of the Cats. Cats. J.C. calls for it. J.C. back to pass. Looking. Still looking. Still looking. J.C.'s going to take it now and run it himself. J.C.'s down at the 32-yard line. Got to stop the clock. Got to use that timeout. Back to pass. Don't take a sack. Great catch. And the flag goes down. Two flags go down. On the back of Gallardo. Max Parker will be snapping. Holding the ball will be Tucker Pitts. And Gallardo attempt a 41-yard field goal. It's down. Kick is up. And the kick is going to be no good. No good. No good. Long enough, but just wasn't good enough. Gallardo, bless his heart, tried it all. It was long enough. Just missed it, and the pack looks like they're going to lose it tonight by a score of 50 to 40. What a game this was. 99 combined points in a battle of top-ranked teams, and Valdosta had earned the title of the best team in South Georgia. However, the Wildcats would not be able to keep this title for very long, as just two weeks later, they would face the other powerhouse team from South Georgia, the Lowndes Vikings, in the infamous Wintersville Classic. Lowndes would shut out Valdosta in a convincing 24 to nothing victory. Lowndes would then take down Colquitt County in the region championship to truly cement themselves as the Kings of South Georgia for the 2019 season. Back to Valdosta. Their season would not end at all in the way they would have liked. They would face 4th ranked Lee County in the region championship and they would find themselves in another shootout just like the one against Colquitt County. 103 combined points were scored in this game, but unlike the game against Colquitt, 
Valdosta would find themselves on the losing end of this game, as Lee County kicked a game-winning field goal as time expired to win 53-50. It was heartbreak for Valdosta, but they still hoped for a state championship run come playoff time. It was looking extremely likely that they would make it to the title game, as they beat 5th ranked Johns Creek in the second round of the playoffs on a game winning touchdown pass with under a minute to go. All they had to do was beat two weaker opponents and they would get a chance to compete for the state championship. However, these dreams ended in a shocking upset against unranked Richmond Hill in the quarterfinals. So that's what happened to Valdosta, but how did Colquitt County's season turn out? Well. They would play Parkview in the second round of the playoffs and would find themselves up 21-13 late in the third quarter. They then proceeded to give up 27 unanswered points in a shocking upset at the hands of the Panthers. Man, these two powerhouses had quite the fall from grace that season.